back. Wow, thank you so much. Now, I'm so new to this and so new to town that I wanted to take tonight just to learn some of the names of the people behind this opera. Now, did I say people? That's not what I meant. I meant the people, the, what can I say? The creatures. Yeah. The, the, the animal, our fellow beings, shall we say that? Uh, that are really behind this operation. So let me ask you, if you would, I'm going to do a shout out to our pound puppies, our lost kittens there. What we got right here? Tell me your names and your little critters there. Ah, uh, come on. What you got? Yeah, shout them out. Maybelline. Sorry? My, my cat, Maybelline. Maybelline, right? Pound uh, Rescue? Shout it out. Jasmine. Jasmine, who you got? Dickie. Dickie, all right, who else? behind us all. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, heard on the radio, the hottest book out right now is a biography of who? Rin Tin Tin, number one book right now by Susan Orlean, author of The Orchard the or Orchard, Orchid Thief, a biography of Rin Tin Tin, and Rin Tin Tin was indeed what? A rescue puppy. A rescue puppy. Rin Tin Tin has his paws on, you know, out in front of Roman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, I don't, well, anyway, don't get, I'm, it's not about me, that's fine. I'm not a jealous type, so I'm behind Rin Tin Tin. Well, I want to tell all of your folks, uh, pork chop, all the wonderful animals you have. Everybody's got a story about their hero dog, their hero cat. Uh, 1971, rainy night, October, Carborough, North Carolina, knock at the door, a little house on North Greensboro Street, and brought to Jane and I, and they figured we'd be the home for this little dog who was locked in a trailer all day. Little black dog, looked like a golden retriever, all the feathers and everything, but black as jet. Black as jet, feathery like a golden retriever. Beautiful little puppy, you know, just scared, shivering in the rain. Well, this little dog, Maggie, stayed with us through uh, the mountain, the communes up in the mountains of New Mexico, all through uh, college years. Uh, it came back from uh, a failed theater company out in Colorado. Oh gosh, what a stories we went through. It ended up back here in Hillsboro. We lived in Hillsboro for a while while I was in graduate school. And my mom was still, you know, thinking I'm 12 years old, she would send tins of cookies, you know. And so it was great, so we lived in Hillsboro, a little house on Margaret Lane. Little dog, just the two of us, just Jane and I and the dog, Maggie, Maggie. And I left, you know, the cookies would come in from my mom, and I left them on the porch one day. Well, I walked, I was in, upstairs doing some work, and I heard the most horrible howling. <laughs> And I go tearing down the stairs, what is it? And I come down and there was Maggie, the dog. And she was just sitting there, because I had left the tin of cookies on the back steps with the lid on. <laughs> and Maggie, Maggie was looking at the cookies. <laughs> and she was crying because she wanted the cookies so bad. But she knew she wasn't supposed to have them. I went, oh my gosh, you can have all the cookies you want. So Maggie, oh, hey Maggie, have the cookies. And I remember years and years later, I told this story to my daughter and she was in a, 
I guess a psychology class, a human consciousness class, and the professor said, and of course only humans have the conscience uh, to make a moral decision. She said, I beg to differ. I know of a dog named Maggie, when confronted with the temptation of cookies, was in a moral dilemma beyond that which is suffered by most, most American presidents. That was a suffering dog. That dog didn't want to yield to temptation until it was all right. So, oh gosh. Now that made me think, I, I just, I don't want to stand between y'all or y'all in back me, but uh, I've been looking up at these quotations. Did y'all see the quotations? Nobody mentioned that one from Thoreau. Now I study dogs, you know, uh, dogs and, uh, and uh, you know, some people go through uh, uh, the world literature and look, oh, not that one. That's all right, it doesn't matter. <laughs> study world literature and underline all the naughty parts. I underline all the woodworking sections. Well, there's a, a section in, uh, of course, there's a lot in, uh, in Chekhov, uh, the dog, the great dog, Kushchanka. Anyway, too long for tonight, but Chekhov's dog worked in a carpenter's shop. Now Thoreau, Thoreau had a lot of woodworking, didn't he? You know, he had the cabin out there in the woods and he did all that stuff, it was great, he's out in the woods, but I'm looking at that quotation, and I'm thinking, oh, of course, because I remember reading all of Thoreau, he never mentions a dog. If there ever was a cat person, it was Thoreau. So I was thinking, I gotta think like a cat person. To understand this. And so I'll leave you with that. I think that must be what it's all about. To say love must be as much a light as a flame. What the hell? <laughs> and I started thinking that must mean something. Because smart people put it up there and mean something for their own. How can I think like a cat person? Because I'm like a dog, you know, eat it all. That's it, you know, that's where my brain's at. What does that mean? Well, it means what I guess what it's all about tonight. Each one of us has that love of the animal that meant so much to us. The little Ma the Maggies in your life that made a difference and really taught you something and made you a fuller human being. And that's, that's that flame, that love that you have for these animals. But if you really love them, you've got to have light. And that means you've got to get out and show other people how wonderful it is to have these fellow creatures in, in your lives and what they can teach us of is to be human. So that's the light, we guess we just have to show it to others and that's what we're here for tonight. So I thank you all for inviting me to be a part of this. Thank you all for being here tonight and I thank you for the light you're about to share with the community about the wonderful thing we can do to show our love for our dear friends. Thank you so much.